All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Scum. My name is. Communication with human Excuse me. Greetings, human I was in the middle of something. Welcome to Scum Island tutorial protocol Hold on, let's let's see what she's got to say. My If you wish to activate the tutorial, please do so on your journal interface. I'm so good. Channel closed. All right, thank you. All right, back to what I was saying. So my name is Blonde Don, and thank you guys so much for being here. So today, we're checking out Scum. Scum is one of my all-time favorite experiences to jump into. I've got kind of a vague plan in my head, and if you've seen any of my past videos, you'll know that it's probably not going to come anywhere near to you know my original plan. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get distracted a million times, uh, but we're going to have fun regardless. So, where are we? We are all the way up here. So, part of my plan that I was just thinking about is I kind of want to make this an experience. I, I want to make it nothing super intense, nothing crazy, but I want to keep it as close to, I guess, a survival experience as possible. So, I'm in here. I'm on this entire island all by myself. That means we are going to have to work to keep ourselves busy and to keep ourselves sane. <laughs> the latter part might be the most difficult part. I think uh, I don't think we'll have a, a problem keeping ourselves busy. We're going to be struggling to survive, and I mean struggling. I know, I know it's going to be difficult to find food, find water, and find some decent clothes. So we start out in this nice jumpsuit since we have been exiled to this island for crimes that I likely did not commit. I will not say that I did commit them. I will not say that I didn't. Regardless of that, we're here and we have to make the most of it. Uh, anyway, back to what I was saying about the plan. The first thing that I really want to do is, well, first off, we do want to explore a little bit. Obviously, we have a massive, massive island to explore, but I don't want to go too crazy on it because we don't really need to here in the beginning. I say that because eventually we're going to find a vehicle. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know we will. We're going to get it up and running and we are going to be able to travel. And then once we start traveling, there are areas on this island that I know contain flying vehicles. And that will make things move a lot faster when it comes to travel. So that's a, that's a huge overarching goal, obviously, but it's a, it's a really big one that I want to try out. I've never, never flown a plane and I don't even think that I've ever driven a vehicle in this one. So this is going to be a challenge for sure. We're heading down south a little bit. I don't want to survive in the snow area just yet. I want to go down south, um, explore a little bit, find some towns down here. We might go to this one right here and see what's going on. And eventually I've got a, kind of a vague idea of where I want to set up shop and while it would be probably easier to jump into an already existing building and, and put a lock on it you know board up the windows and things like that i want to create my own setup we're gonna have some time to kill out here so i think we're gonna be okay when it comes to finding the time to <laughs> to put together a base i've never constructed a building in this one so I'm excited to give that a shot as well. I, I'm sure it's going to be pretty difficult for me. But the nice thing is that you will see we should have some pretty decent blueprints all the way up to medium. Uh, because when it comes to skills, I've got some pretty good in engineering skills. My main traits are A. What was that? There's something in here. I swear I just heard something running through here. Oh, oh, there is. What's in there? Should we wait? Hold on there. I don't know. There's something in there and I don't know what it is. So let's get some rocks here. Uh, we got one. We're going to make a stone knife really quick. And then we're going to chop this, these bushes down and figure out what's in here. Whatever it is, I don't want to scare it out, but I do want to reveal whatever it is. <laughs> Clearly, if it was dangerous, it would have attacked us by now, or at least in theory. But I don't know. Maybe I'll scare it into attacking me. Okay, I see nothing. Whatever it was, it probably snuck out on me. I, I probably just missed it. What? 
It was- there was something in here. Did it run to this one? Hold on, we're gonna find this. Anything in here? Hold on, there's something in here. Oh, I think I'm going crazy. Yeah, I'm probably going crazy already. Oh, not a strong start. <laughs> not a strong start. The nice thing is we're, we're in an area where apparently someone was farming at some point. Now, it's just a matter of can we get some corn off these stocks. It'll be nice to just have some in our uh, pockets for when we get hungry. We're already getting, I mean, we're down to 86% as far as food goes. Ooh. There we go. We got one. See if we can just find one more for the road. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's put... Let's keep the knife in hand. Throw this in here. Okay. All right, let's get moving. Um, I... What was I saying before? I think uh, probably talking about my ideal location uh, to build a base at. Um, I would love to find a spot in like a kind of cozy surrounded... Uh, area surrounded by trees. Like like thick covering of trees so that we're protected from a lot of the wind, a lot of the weather, as well as kind of out of sight. Because there, while I am the only human on this island, I am not the only creature on this island. And I would love to be by some fresh water. Speaking of creatures, see some right here. Are these fellow prisoners? It looks like they're all in jumpsuits like me. Okay, let's get to this house. I don't really want to get too close to to these guys. I keep thinking I'm hearing things in bushes. But I don't want to get too close to them right now. I'm not really prepared to fight them. I've got the stone knife, which is nice and all. But um, not quite the weapon I want to have right now. And I do have some cash. So, okay. That's a thing. So I guess... Technically, I am not the only human on this island. There are safe zones, these green areas, where there should be traders. And those traders should be able to help us. And, and if we have enough cash or have enough items to sell them, then we should be able to make some deals and potentially get us some good gear. Either some good gear or some good guns. What are these socks? Um, I think we're good on socks. Yeah, can we put those in the inventory though? We might be able to use them for some cloth. We end up getting mauled by some of these uh, puppets, is actually what they're called. Um, oh my gosh, speaking of... Let's see if we can get this guy quick. Yeah, this is a very short range weapon. Yeah, we're not going to fight this guy. No, we're going to fight this guy. Oh, no. oh, let's get him while he's down. Oh, oh god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, not a strong start. Not a strong start. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why I didn't want to get into any fights right now with this stone knife. Uh, how are we looking on our health? Ooh, not great. So let's actually... Cut this into rags. We should be able to cut a few things up. Our socks, our undies, our willy warmer here. Um, even our gloves. Oh, that's all we got from that. Uh, let's cut this up. A lot of our injuries here should be okay. They are bleeding, but they're not bad. They're going down pretty quick, so I could probably leave them. I'm going to actually see if I can try and at least get one fixed up here. Uh, because ultimately what I do want to do is increase our stats. So we look under intelligence here. I do have medical and I just got 87 XP for that. And so that's why I want to kind of take advantage of um, healing myself when I can. And the same thing with like looting and things like that. I'm going to try and do as much as I can of these different types of skills in order to improve them. It takes quite some time. Did he really see me? Oh, he saw me. Oh man. Oh, this is a rough start. So, one of the skills that I do not really have any experience in is, I believe, camouflage. 
So camouflage is the skill of self-disguise and making yourself invisible to others. It's raised by hiding in foliage, so that's how we can increase our XP on that. So it influences our visibility to other players as well as these guys. Which is probably why he saw me from so far away. So... The nice thing is, is I put a lot into a lot of experience into my running and my endurance. I've got quite a bit in those two categories. Oh, they're screaming all around me. Oh God! I didn't realize he was gonna run all the way around. And why did I jump this when there's openings right next to it? Oh my God! I don't know if we're gonna be able to outrun this guy. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, are we in here? Oh, shoot. Where can I go? Okay, we're gonna be able to run for a while. I think we're gonna be mostly okay. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty chunky boy, so he's a little bit slow. I think we lost him already. He looks... He looks pretty lost. Okay. Okay, we, we got away from that one. Oh, alright, that made me nervous. Man, our health is already hurting. That is not great. 63%. We're at 44 HP out of 120. So we're going to have to be extra careful here right off the bat. Otherwise, we are not going to last long on this island. Okay, so let's keep running. I see a nice river down here. The nice thing about rivers or streams, whatever these, uh, whatever these may be called, um, they should contain fresh water. And I would love to find a setup next to fresh water that eliminates two out of the three most vital things that we need in survival. And that's food, water, and shelter. And if we can get rid of... Uh, did I say two? I meant one out of the, the three. <laughs> uh, but we can get rid of that one out of the three. And if we can do that, then we're going to be just in that much better of a position. Um, here, let's, let's take a second. Recoup a little bit. Let's eat a little bit. Now, fighting those zombies damaged our clothes even more. So <laughs> this has not been a strong start. So it looks like there might be... I don't know if that's worth exploring over there. Uh, what's this way? We're at this bridge now. I kind of want to make my way towards this town here. It's going to get dangerously close to that airport. We'll be fine uh, over in this town. We really only start to enter the, the airport danger zone if we get to the actual airport. Um, that's going to contain a lot of the puppets as well as some massive mechs that want nothing more than to kill me as fast as possible. So I'm not quite prepared to go there. As you can tell, I just about lost my life to the very first puppet that we found. So uh, maybe, we, maybe we wait on the, uh, on the mechs for now. It looks like there might be some buildings over here on our way to this bigger town. So maybe we can find some food or some, hopefully some better clothes. My sweatshirt is already falling apart. <laughs> so once we get here, oh. So there are these mushrooms. Yeah, so I do not want to use, I do not want to use these mushrooms. I've, I have an experience with these ones in the past. I, I, I ate them thinking that they were going to be safe, which I think technically for the most part they were. Um, it's just the fact that I started hallucinating and seeing things. Um, that's when uh, we started having issues. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid those mushrooms for now. Um, maybe I should be a little bit quieter over here because we've got this guy right here. I thought he saw me. Okay, no, we're good. I'm going to check out this... Uh, chicken thing. I don't know what it is. So there are feathers. We can make like bow and arrows, but my, but I am quite weak. I honestly don't think I'd be able to pull back a bow if I had one to, to do that with. So I think my main goal is to actually just find a gun, which means we are going to have to get a little, a little bit risky kind of early on um, to find a gun. Because typically the best chance that you're going to find a gun is going to be somewhere in like the military areas. Which for someone as unprepared as me, currently, <laughs> that is not a safe area to be at. But we will cross that bridge when we get there. Anything up here does not look like it. Nah, let's head back down. Let's make sure we got our stone knife here. 
So there's a guy over here. I'm gonna go into this house. And a couple things that I can do here, and I'm gonna do that after we finish looting in here. Um, I can make a bag, and I can make a spear. That spear's gonna help us defend ourselves. Here we go, we got a raincoat. So I'm gonna throw that on. Hopefully it doesn't get too warm for me. Don't know how to convert the uh, Celsius here into Fahrenheit. I am not familiar with it. I apologize. So we're just going to have to see if we get hot or see if we're okay. Okay, let's, um, I'm going to skip that building. They probably won't have much in it. I'm going to get into the trees here. Let's see if we can... I'll make the spear, and then we'll see what we need for just a small bag. I think we can at least make that. Alright, so we should have some sticks on the ground here. So let's craft an improvised wooden spear. And the nice thing about that is we will be able to th just throw that on our back. So it won't take up any inventory space. And do we have another one? No, they're both just small sticks. Okay, I was going to make a second spear, but we'll be okay with one for now. Now let's see how much this bag costs to make. So we got the improvised courier bag. Okay, so we need three rags, uh, some rope, and then just my knife. We can make the tree bark rope. Uh, what do we need for that? We need some extra sticks. So I'm going to chop this down quick, and then we'll make our uh, rope. Oh, and one thing I did while we were in that last building is I put this mask on. Um, not sure how I feel about it. Don't know if it does anything protection-wise, but I've got it on, and we're going to keep it on for a while. All right, crafting that rope should just take a second. And then once we do that, we'll cut up, I guess, probably this t-shirt. We don't need this at all. Hopefully this will give us all three rags that we need. Oh, shoot. It gives rag strips. I don't think that counts, does it? No, it doesn't look like it will. Uh, ah, let's cut up our undies. We don't need those right now. As long as I play this smart, I won't end up naked. Um, but with that said, there is no promise on that. All right, let's let's craft this bag. We'll throw it on our back, and then we'll get going here. All right, bag is made, and look at that. Let's, uh, I guess, just throw a couple things in here. Nah, we don't need the sticks. It's just going to add extra weight. Okay, so we got this raggedy little backpack on. Better than nothing. We got some extra inventory space, so that's nice. And we were going to... Ooh, we need to head west. Oh, we're heading west. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to start running there, and I will check this place out. I will not see you guys soon. Uh, might as well loot this place since it's on the way. So I should say that uh, earlier when I was talking about kind of the main goals, those were the, the big ones. Ooh, bell pepper. Hazel. Um, those were the, kind of the main goals that I want to accomplish at some point. Um, I should say, ugh, that does not look good. I should say that uh, for this episode, at least, the goals that I have are just mainly a little bit of exploration, uh, potentially find where we can rest our heads for the night, um, temporarily or permanently, I'm not sure yet. Um, and we've got some big fireworks. And if it ends up, oh, ooh, one of my all-time favorite weapons right here is the sledgehammer. This thing is a beast. Oh, this thing should be able to take down the puppets easy. Much better than the little stone knife that we had and at more range. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, we don't need gravel. We don't need metal scraps right now. We will eventually. We're going to be doing a lot of crafting. Here's some more cash. We're up to 72 bucks. Okay. But yeah, we need to find a place to sleep tonight. Um, it doesn't really matter. As long as uh, we find some place. I'd like to camp out in the woods tonight. Maybe put down some kind of... Uh... Oh, I forget what they're called. 
Does it show it in here? There's, there's a, so it's just called shelter in this. Can't remember the normal name for it, but maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments if what I'm saying makes any sense. Uh, what's a hemostatic dressing? Uh, valuable adjunct in external hemorrhage control when the source of bleeding is a location not amendable to tourniquet placement, such as in junctional re regions, is sterile so it is completely safe for treating an open wound and can't cause an infection. Okay, I didn't understand half of those words, uh, but that last sentence said that I can use it to treat wounds without infection. So <laughs> we're going to hold on to that. One thing that would be awesome to find... Oh, I got kind of excited. Um, one thing that would be awesome to find uh, would be some... Uh, would be a big backpack. Uh, I don't know why I kept the wire. We'll probably need it at some point. We can always get rid of the things that we don't need immediately. Okay, so this is, I thought this might be a town, but it's more of, I guess, an industrial area. So I don't, is that some kind of outpost? It's gonna have, was this guarded or something at some point? That's strange. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Uh, that makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah, they are ordering this entire area. And this, oh god. So, and there's also barbed wire fence at the top of the fences here. Um, and I don't know if you guys can hear that. But there's most definitely large footsteps pounding out there. And that is exactly what I was afraid of so early on here. Let's go check those out. I don't hear them. They are most definitely patrolling out here. Oh. Oh my gosh. I set off some. I made them very angry. Okay, let's get over here. These guys are stuck inside for now. Oh, that, that pounding of every step is absolutely terrifying to me. Can we hit this guy? Nope. Okay, I don't think they're the the mechs are patrolling over here right now. Oh, there's one. Oh, I really don't want to get too far with this one. Wait, is this one closer? This one. Oh, he was over there. See him right up there. Oh, there's a couple of these guys. Yeah, I don't want to mess with this area. I thought this was going to be a nice quiet town that we could loot through everything. Oh, you know what, though? These guard posts are tempting. Oh, I think he saw me. Yep, he saw me. Let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. Put this away. We gotta run. Uh, we need to follow the wall. I don't want to get too far out to where he can actually see me over the fence, so let's just run this way. Oh, and we're going, we're going right to another mech right here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, my heart's racing. <laughs> let's get out of here. Oh, let's get as far away from this place as we can right now. That made me very, very uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's let's get up here. Okay. All right. I think we're safe out here. Let's take a quick uh, rest for a second and kind of think about what's going on. Um, okay. So let's. How are we looking on food? We're look, we're okay on food and water. Um, now where are we at in terms of this area? So this is, this is the big industrial area where we just were. Now I'm wondering, is this like a stream down here? And if so, maybe we can find something in the trees. If there's like part of the stream goes down into the trees, that seems like it'd be a pretty cool area to be. Not sure just yet. I guess we can just go south, southeast and figure that out. So we're facing north. 
Need to go about this way. So let's go this way and um, see what options we've got in terms of settling down. I would like to find some kind of area to settle down a little bit early. Um, maybe we can put together a fire as well as some shelter. Because we don't really want to get caught out in nighttime and trying to build all these things. Because it gets dark. And now I know I'm supposed to be going this way. But I don't know if you guys noticed. It might be kind of hard to see now, but there is a hunting stand up here. And with this hunting stand, I'm hoping that there is potentially some gear. Maybe a gun, if we're really lucky. Or maybe a bag or jacket or something. Something better than what we got. My character was sweating a little bit earlier. And the further down south that we get, of course, the warmer that it's going to be. But I think we're going to be okay for now. Um... Yep, it's completely empty up here. Okay, well, we had to check. Alright, I'm gonna take a second to rest. Catch up, uh, and let's check what time it is. Now, <laughs> to check the time, I gotta take some clothes off. Don't worry, I'm not getting completely naked. I just need to be able to see my watch. Uh, it's only 20 to 11, so we're actually, we're okay. We have plenty of daylight, so we're not going to settle down just yet. We're going to see what this area offers. Maybe we can find a cool area to settle in at some point, um, and then go and explore, and then come back. But for now, we keep running. Okay, so it looks like there's a church right here. Right now I'm not seeing any puppets, but I'm willing to bet that if we... Let's kind of sneak in here. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really should... Um, I should really work on my camouflage, because these guys spot me from a mile away. Oh. Oh, oh god. Yep, okay. Ah, okay, downside of Sledgehammer is it's slow, but I just knocked this thing down dead in two hits. Okay, are we bleeding? Uh, we are a little bit, so do we have any cloth? No. I might just let it go down, because the only thing that I have... Well, let's cut this up. Oh, I know, we can't cut anything up because I don't have my knife anymore. Um, that's fine, I can make one really quick. So the thing is, I don't want to... wrap up any of my wounds with dirty rags, because that could definitely result in infection. And I don't have enough faith that I will find anything that would stop the infection, any kind of antibiotics. With my luck, I just wouldn't have, I just would not find anything. And I would die just from dirty rags. And that's the last thing that I want to happen before we even get started here. Okay, so actually, where is it at? Oh yeah, they're already into stabilization. We're totally fine. Now that should go in our inventory? Yes, okay. Let's see if there's anyone else in here. I'm sure there is. Oh yeah, here's a big boy. Might be a little bit stronger than the other one. A little bit slower though. Now he's dead. Okay, he must be the only one. I think if there was another one, we probably would have wake woken him up by now. Yeah, I think we're okay. I don't know what's up there, but I think the same applies there. I'm willing to bet that we would have startled or brought something to life if there was anything up there. Ooh. Scout. Is this some kind of knife? Karam Karambit? I, so I don't know how to say that. That originated in Southeast Asia, resembling a claw. Okay, let's get rid of that thing. Let's hold on to that. Oh, that's cool. What does this look like? Oh, look at this thing. Oh, you can hear my echo. All 
All right, let's go up here. Let's see if there's anything worth looting up here. Okay, there's stairs that go up. Let's search these boxes. Anything good in here? Uh, some scrap. There is anything up here. It's going to be a an interesting fight with such a tight space. No. Okay. Nothing to even loot. How's the view up here, though? Oh, that's pretty cool. So we definitely want to check out that area. One thing that I definitely do want to make sure that, that when I'm hitting these towns, I want to make sure that I am checking every single garage. Because you never know where there might be a vehicle that needs repairing. That needs a new owner. You know, I'm willing to bet no one's uh, no one's going to be coming here to claim their vehicles. Thought I heard something out there. One thing that you will learn about me is that I am ultra paranoid in these environments. And rightfully so. I mean, have you seen these guys? They're terrifying. Have you heard them growl and, uh, or moan or whatever you want to call it? It's You haven't even heard the bad ones yet. There are some unsettling noises that these guys make. And we got some vodka. I already know how we're going to end the night. Don't worry, we're not going to get drunk. But we're not going to be completely sober. And look at that, we got some carrot juice as well. So we'll stay hydrated. Um, we got our ear of corn. Hopefully, oh my goodness, absent father. Oh, we don't have room for this. No, this just takes up extra weight. Um, so I don't know why I can't eat this bell pepper. It seems like it would be safe to eat, right? Do I have to put it in my hands here? No. And collect seeds from them. I got bell pepper seeds. Maybe at some point we can start a garden once we get kind of established. But for now, I apparently have no use for it. <laughs> but I do want to hold on to some of this stuff uh, as far as liquids go. We can fill these bottles back up with water if we can find some as well. Um, do I want Absinthe Father or do I want Majestic Bear Vodka? They s both sound great. Oh, this can actually be used to directly sterilize an open wound or to sterilize a clean rag as it's an antiseptic. Antiseptic. Antiseptic? Why did I say that so weird? Uh, <laughs> um, and so this is just the vodka. It's not saying... Yeah, it's not saying anything about this one being able to, to sterilize anything. So might as well hold on to the Absinthe Father. I love that name. It's so funny. The name, not the concept. <laughs> um, oh no, we need room for this knife too. Do we got room in here? Oh heck yeah, we do. Oh, ooh, cracked his skull right there. Oh, he almost got me. Okay, I'm kind of trapped right here. Let's hopefully get him. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love this sledgehammer. He got it a little bit dirty on that one, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm still alive. Um, I want to see what it costs to make that next backpack. Small improvised backpack. So it takes thread. It looks like six thread or some rope. That's not too bad. Uh, wooden stick, animal skin, or human skin. Uh, as well as an improvised sewing kit. A sewing kit, or that's it. Okay. Now, yeah, that sewing kit might be an issue. We've got thread. What can we use to make that sewing kit, though? Oh, we just need a needle or a bone needle. Wait, can we get that from this nice gentleman out front? Sorry to do this to you, big boy. Oh no. The disrespect. Okay, what do we got? Oh man, okay, we've got human skin. Oh man, this is rough. Uh, don't know, that takes up a lot of inventory, I guess. So we got human skin, we got bones. So, craft bone needle, there we go. So we can make our improvised sewing kit now. Craft that. Now, I don't know how many uses we get out of this sewing kit. I'm guessing one? I, I don't know. Oh, we got 15? Okay. And then for the backpack, it was rope, human skin, and four long sticks. So, 
We can get that really quick. Uh, even just from here. Okay, how many long sticks is it? One, two, three. We only got three. We need one more. So let's bundle these together. And then we'll bring them all over to our, uh, our little pile of body parts. Listen, I'm, I'm not proud of this. We just, we would, we kind of need more inventory space. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we don't even need that much right now to be honest, but so I just need one more long stick and one piece of rope. We can make that rope out of these short sticks over here. And then we can get the long stick with another bush that I saw in the distance. So let's do that quick. Ooh. How many are there? Oh, let's get inside quick. Oh my God. Okay. There's one. It sounded when he screamed, it sounded like there was two, but I think it just echoed. Oh, look at this guy. Ugh! Look at those eyes! Oh, I wish I could hit him through this. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Oh. <laughs> I even broke the window! I didn't even know there was uh, glass in here! Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, he's coming back for more. Yeah, you regret your decision? He doesn't want to come near me anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to go out to him. Oh, God, those screams. Oh. Oh. oh, God, he can jump over that. Oh, my God. Oh, man. God, that makes me so nervous. I love this sledgehammer, but it's, it's just so much slower. And I... Oh, that was a... That was a female the whole time. I <clears throat> don't want to know where that was being stored. We got the M1911 magazine. So that's really cool. Um, it's pretty damaged. I don't know what it's going to take to fix that. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was just a couple seconds away from getting the long stick. Let's throw that. Wait, that was a short one, I think. Okay. All right, I think we're okay to start crafting. Let's uncraft the uh, wooden sticks. And then I think that's gonna be it. Let me put this on the ground here. Make sure I've got that on my back. Let's check out the bag. I am missing something. I need three rope, four long sticks. Okay, I've got the four long wooden sticks. I've got 10 rope. Human skin and improvised sewing kit. Oh, it would have taken four of the small wooden sticks, but I have everything. Am I am I crazy? It takes any kind of knife, which is what I've got. Got the one in my hand. Three tree bark rope. I've got ten human skin. It's right here, and four sticks. Uh, what? A I've I've got to be missing something, right? I'm either missing something completely. Or just something, something's broken where I can't craft that. A small improvised backpack. I guess we'll have to leave it for now. We can always try it later, or just hopefully we'll find a better backpack at some point. Well, let's keep looking. What I want to do is I, I can't really search all of these houses right now. I mean, I could. It's going to take a while. Oh, this is exactly what I was just about to say. I'm, I wanted to look for a garage. Oh, there's a couple of them. Okay, no vehicle in here, but we can still loot it. So, here's a tire we can pick up. I guess if we need to, we can replace the tires on a vehicle that we find? I don't really know. I don't know the capabilities or the extent of what we can do with vehicles here. A lot of the stuff that I'm just leaving on the ground, like metal scrap, nails, things like that, are pretty common, so I don't think we really need to worry too much about them. 
Let me check how much water's in here. Zero. Yeah, in my experience, I've never been able to find water in in the wells or in the pumps. Nothing. I, I just have to find bottles of soda and things like that. We got cash? We got cash. How much? 99 bucks. We're rich. What kind of place is this? This looks like it was some kind of... I don't know. It looks like clean and professional. Or it used to be. Like it almost makes me think medical. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some kind of just general store? And we got a kill... Is that... Oh, it replaces our pants. Yeah, okay, so I bet this is some kind of medical place. This is a... These are hospital pants. I mean, I, I also did just find a kilt, too, and I didn't assume that this was some kind of... You know, Scottish... Uh, you know... Store or anything like that. <laughs> a pajama shirt. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna assume this is some kind of... Me medical place, I don't know. Maybe it says outside the store here. Wait, you know what? We should put that pajama shirt on. It's probably in better shape than the shirt that we've got now. All right, let's check it out. Does it say anything? Pharmacy. Okay, I was right. Maybe it's a Scottish pharmacy. And I, <laughs> I don't know. Scottish owned. Ooh. All right, let's take care of this guy. Ugh. Come on, one more. Yep. And the reason, by the way, in case you were wondering, the reason that I'm searching every single one of these guys is not because I'm trying to get them naked. Uh, I just want to up my experience when it comes to uh, the different skill sets that I have right now. And searching these guys, I believe, increases one of them. I'm not sure which one. But anything that we can do to improve, I want to do. Okay, what's going on? Something's happening here. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I just realized why I can't eat or drink anything. It's grayed out. How would I be able to eat or, or, or drink anything through this? Well, I could maybe squeeze some liquids through there. I did not even think of that. And look at that. Oh, I got rid of my perfectly good bell pepper, too. I love bell peppers. Okay. I guess this raw corn on the cob is going to have to do for now. <laughs> yeah, that should help us out. And then, do we have any other food? No, but we've got some drink. Let's... Let's drink a little bit here. Yeah, we're getting kind of low. Lower than I'd like. What is this lime soda? It's probably going to up our carbs and whatnot. Yeah, we need, we need carbs, fiber, sugar. Oh, this should do good for both sugar and uh, carbs. Sugar is a carb, so that makes sense. Okay, I don't want to drink too much. I don't want to throw up now. Now, maybe we should check out this bi big building, too, before we go. For some reason, it just seems like it might have something. Uh, an entire car door? Yeah. <laughs> what? So I can just, I guess, carry this around? Okay. Um... <laughs> Maybe, maybe we just build the entire car from scratch. <laughs> I don't, I don't, th I don't think we could do that, but I honestly wouldn't doubt it here. Let's head into this building, and if we don't find anything in here, let's just let's head out. Oh, one of them heard me. He's right here. We're safe, though. I'm pretty sure the doors should be closed. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I set off a few of them. Do we have any? Ah, uh, wine cork. Another wine cork. Anything? Oh, there's nothing. Is there not more to this building? Oh, there is. Let's go up. Now, I don't know if there's an entrance on this roof, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, yeah, there is on the other side of this uh, structure here. Should be a door. What is this? Oh, box of nine millimeter. Okay. 
This is an M19 mag, which I, what is that? 45 caliber, I think. Oh, you know what? This might be a police station or a jail. Oh God, I should, I'm gonna have to be quiet. No, I don't want this. I want sledgehammer. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to sneak around in here. Pretty certain there's gonna be some puppets around here. Oh my gosh. Oh let's get going. Fighting one at a time isn't that bad. Fighting two or more, it, it, it gets tricky. <laughs> it gets tricky. Okay, we're gonna open this and see what it's like quick. Okay, let's let this one through. Oh, that was good, that was good. Oh, this guy's down. Okay. Hopefully that next one, it sounds like there's like three or four. Hello? Hello? Hey, buddy. Are you coming? Oh yeah, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, close too early. Oh God, he hit me. There we go. Right across the face. Come on. Oh. There we go. Okay. Oof. Um, we're bleeding again. Do we have anything we can cut up? Let's cut these up quick. It should be going down. Yeah, it looks like they are. Okay. But I still want to try and heal them. Like I said, the more experience that we can gain, especially in the beginning here, the better. Ooh, this is kind of risky. This one is at 25%, which means it's pretty darn dirty. Increasing our chances of getting some kind of infection, but I'm going to risk it. Just see what happens here. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it looks like we're fine. I don't want to be near any of these main roads. Just makes me nervous. You, you never know what's, uh, what could be happening out here. Who could see you? As far as I know, I'm alone outside of these traders. But I don't want to take any chances. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice little spot. Dips down low. And there's some bushes around here. I think we can... Uh, I don't know. Let's see if there's anything else on the other side of this hill here. But that's not a bad spot. I'd like to say, see... <gasps> what? What was that? Was that like a bear? Okay. Maybe I don't want to be out here. <laughs> what? <laughs> that sounded terrifying. Okay, let's run this way. Last thing I need is to die from a bear. Okay, let's take a second to rest. I don't mind this spot. It's right on the edge of the trees here. It's not deep into the forest. Um, that bear is somewhere off north. I think it was a bear. That's what it kind of sounded like. And we're right about here. Um, I think I'm going to set up camp here. Eventually, I think I kind of want to wander down this way. If we can, if we can wander down this way, I'm, I don't know what is going on down here. This seems absolutely chaotic. And so it has piqued my interest. What does it take to build kind of a basic shelter? So it just takes one wooden log, 10 long sticks and six small sticks. That's actually super easy and some tree bark rope. Let's, uh, let's place that down. What does that look like? Kind of want to be next to this tree. Um, do we have any flat surface here or flatter? Might have to deal with this slanted surface, but this actually might not be a bad spot. Oh, I kind of like this spot. So our wind is actually blocked from over there. So I'm thinking if anything, it can provide a little bit of camouflage from the road. 
we put it right here. That way, because we've got our orange pants on, <laughs> so we're going to stick out like a sore thumb, even from a distance. And so I think that's actually a really good spot. So let's cut down some bushes, get some long sticks, get some short sticks. And then we're going to have to craft an axe here as well in order to chop down. Wait. Oh, no, there's a small wooden log. Can we... So that we can either use a wooden log or... Or a wooden log. Okay. <laughs> it's just from two different types of trees. I don't think we can use the small wooden log. All right, let me cut down a few more of these bushes and I will catch up with you guys in a second. All right, so we've got every piece except for the log uh, put together here. So what do we need to make the axe. So we need a small stone axe head, a small wooden stick, and some tree bark rope. We can do that pretty quickly. Where is small stone head axe head? That just takes two stone? Oh, that's super easy. Alright, we got the axe head, and then do we have rope still? We've got six rope, and then I think we've got a small stick over here. We should have one nearby. Small stick. Um, I think it's doing it again. Where I can't craft anything. I've got six out of ten tree bark rope, small stone he axe head, and a small wooden stick. It just says tree bark rope, small wooden stick, and a small stone axe head. Do I need more tree bark rope? I can make some, but I have a feeling that's not gonna help us. Okay, these are 10 perfectly good rope. There we go. How much did it take? Hold on. So we have 10 and 6, so we have 16 total. Let's see how much we have left after I make this axe. It's, it's, it's not telling me any number. It makes it seem like it just requires one rope. Oh, so when they have 6, so it took 10 total. It just didn't say that. Okay. Well... Now we've got the axe, so let's chop down a tree. I don't want to get one like super close to us, and I think these, I'm willing to bet these don't cut down actual logs, but let's, let's give it a shot and see what it does. I'm guessing it only makes the small logs, like we were cutting out of those bushes, but, um, but we'll see here. Oh no, okay, this is the big boys. Ooh, beautiful. Here we go, now we're about to finish it. This thing's gonna look cool. I really like this spot. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, you can't see this thing. Oh, there's not a chance anyone's seeing this thing from the road. Oh, you were looking out here? You won't be able to see that. Completely blends in. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's cool. All right. I was thinking about putting a fire here, but the thing is, Oh, that is just unsettling. I really hope we don't have a problem with that animal. I'm pretty certain it's a bear, but it's only 20 to 3, almost 3 p.m. Yeah, I don't think we need to light a fire right now, but what I am going to do is let me see if I can get in a decent spot to rest here. Okay, not bad. Oh, this is pretty good. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is we may just end up abandon abandoning this campsite um, for next episode uh, because I'm definitely going to be traveling more and exploring more and, and finding hopefully a place to settle down. This is just temporary, but I'm, I'm thinking probably next episode will be uh, when nighttime ends up rolling around. So we'll end up having another campsite with hopefully a, a nice little campfire to, to sleep next to at night. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, this was actually a ton of fun. It's been a while since I've, I've jumped into this one and man, I missed it. I can't wait for the next episode and I really hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you did, let me know down in the comments or a like on the video if you did. Uh, subscribe if you do want to see some more. I thank you guys again so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.